I is Xiang from Vietnam, so I'm currently studying computer science bachelor degree at University of the People for the second year now. I want to make this video to share with you my answers about some of the questions you might have about University of the People based on my understanding and my own experience of current study at your people. Uh, the main topic of the video is going to be about whether your people is legit or accredited. Uh, is it possible for transferring credits between your people and other universities around the world? Uh, some information about course, uh, tuition and scholarship, academic year and CS curriculum, and some of my review after the first year of starting at your people. Before jumping into the detailed q and I just want to give you some brief introduction about my background. So I used to study business administration bachelor at Foreign Trade University in Hanoi, Vietnam, where I was born and raised. And I had a different professional working experience in a few companies in Japan and India before, and currently owning an art business in Vietnam. The reason why I decided to study bachelor again, specifically computer science degree, even I really hate the fact of studying academically from my previous study experience, it was not that fun, but this time is different. I really, really want to expand my knowledge in a completely new field which I have a zero clues about is computer science. Honestly, before studying CS at your people, I've never ever coded before. I did have the thought of studying CS a while ago, but I just can't manage to find the right time and right school options for studying. And having free time in the quarantine lockdown just giving me the perfect chance to think about it and start my study. Okay, now let's talk about the first question. Um, is your people legit or accredited? I think that's the most popular question in social media about your people and it's already answered in a lot of websites and forums but I just want to reconfirm the answer It's yes, it's legit Why and how? Uh, let me tell you my story when I first heard about University of the People It was actually from the guy Nas Daily He's quite famous about making one minute video uh, and he did share one video about your people with really impressive message that is free tuition the first online upgraded university and blah 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 it's like a social media could read my mind I have to admit that the video came quite right time when I was searching and considering among few options of online offline schools and it just hit the sport I mean like I don't want to be biased but Nas Daily is the guy with million views and subs you should have some reason to trust in the guy before doing more research right and I actually like the idea of free online accredited school when the world is going crazily digital nowadays especially during the COVID time more and more schools just like going online I think starting online with qualification and low cost is becoming actually a smart choice by the way there are still also negative opinions about your people like it's a scam it's not legit some people just quit in the media because it sucked but when I compare the big number of people who supported your people and the little amount of people who did not my trust in your people is getting stronger besides the official information about your people's accreditation by DEAC a US Department of Education authorized accrediting agency if you don't know about that just check the link up here or down here for getting more guarantee of what you are going to apply for but if you still not convinced of all of this here are some good examples of people who actually got your people qualifications and building up their good career in some big companies such as Sarah, a homeless dropout of high school at the age of 13 had a two children, could not find a job after enrolling and completing your people qualification she now works for her dream job at Amazon Miyako, Japanese mom joining your people trying to pursue a world-class education with the ambition of expanding her own business to America, etc. I don't know how else about you, but that's enough proof for me to join the school. And you still have the option of dropping out if you don't like it. I mean like you lose nothing, it's tuition free. About the transferring credits, it's possible for you to transfer between like your people and other universities in the world, but it really depends on which universities. Uh, if you check in the um, your people website, you can see there 
um, academic partnership. They have a partnership with UC Berkeley, New York University, uh, Harvard Business School, that's big, and a lot more. I think regarding this matter, you better uh, contact the admin team for the more detail. If you have already like earned some credits in your current institutions and you want to transfer it to your people, you actually could save up like 83% the total cost. Instead of paying $120 assessment fee per course, you just need to pay $17 for the transfer one. I think that's pretty good. Uh, whenever you apply for any universities, I believe the thing you care the most is always like tuition and cost because it's about the money, it's really important and lucky you, if you study at your people, you don't need to pay for the tuition because your people is actually tuition free, that's true but tuition is just a part of the total course you need to pay at your people rather than tuition, you still need to pay for this list first, application fee $60 after you sign up for the school Second, assessment fee $120 per course. In order to complete the computer science bachelor like mine, you are required to pass 40 courses. So the total assessment cost is going to be equal to $4,800. And that assessment fee hasn't included the proctor fee. So what is proctor fee? Proctor is like the third party joining the exam test to make sure that you are not cheating in the exam. Like in your people exam test, sometimes you do the test by yourself uh, but sometimes they do require to include the proctor uh, it's like a webcam like someone behind the webcam looking at you while you are doing the test to make sure that you're not cheating so the proctor fee is like $17.5 per proctor when I check up the uh, CS curriculum uh, there are actually 8 courses requiring proctors so the total proctor fee is going to be like $140 for 4 years application fee, assessment fee and proctor fees is going to be like $5,000 in total the great thing is that you won't be paying $5,000 at once no annual enrollment fee no cost for material you just need to pay the assessment fee at the end of each course and if you have a type up sheet or want to minimize the cost you could consider the scholarship option which i did apply for that and get a sponsor applying scholarship is one step in the application process so just keep it in mind and pay attention to it it's important i remember they required me to complete the essays explaining why i needed the financial support from them up to some time consideration i finally received the email announcing that i got the scholarship of 900 dollars which really made my day i was really happy because you know what during the covid time like every business struggling with making money it's really hard to make money this time that's why i, I do appreciate like every little money like sponsoring for my study 900 dollars that's just great thank you your people in the academic year at your people, there are totally five terms. Each term is nine weeks long. There are one or two week break uh, between terms. Term one begins the first week of September and term five ends in the middle of August. Normally, a full time student takes up to four courses per term, and part time student like me taking uh, one or two courses per term. So, this is the curriculum for four year bachelor degree of computer science. You could check this information in uh, your people's website. Yeah, that's a lot. Woo, four years is gonna be long, long journey. <laughs> After the first year studying at your people, I must say I do enjoy studying online here really much. I think the learning content is quite well structured. Every week repeats the same framework starting with learning unit, mostly reading the textbook, uh, watching the video by yourself. Uh, whenever you have a question, you could ask the professor because each course will be assigned with one professor. Um, I think the first year was easily understandable for me. Sometimes I did have a concerns about some stuff, but I didn't feel that comfortable to communicate or have a discussion with my professor. Hopefully in the next semester, uh, I could break the communication barriers to get more connected with the professor uh, to fulfill the knowledge gap I might have.
right after learning unit you're gonna move to the discussion group where the professor raised the question and people in the class need to respond him with or her with the answer I think the discussion group is really great idea or motivating people to study together and people in my class they were quite active you know exchanging the ideas and also discussing with the professor so that I not only learn from the professor but I also could learn from other people in the class beside the learning unit uh, discussion group you also need to do a lot of assignments a week and also taking the test it's non graded and also graded test I think it's really necessary for you to review like what you study after a week even I would like to take the test much more than doing the assignments so every week same routine with like learning unit discussion group assignments then tests like my week just always like going peacefully and normally i don't have any problem with that when you become your people student you will be assigned with one advisor so my advisor Ashana, she's super super responsible and helpful person whenever i ask her anything she just emailed me back immediately like really really fast i mentioned about this because when i check in the internet sometimes i just saw people complaining about the um, um, advising team from your people just not responding them or responding them too late making them feeling like not being helped but it just didn't happen to me i just feel like my advisor is just perfect Besides the low cost, I think the second best thing about your people is the flexibility in studying time. Especially for someone like me who needs to balance the business work, other life projects and also studying. It's just great when I could manage my own schedule on studying and working. So your people recommended us to study like up to 17 hours per week per course. That's also the amount of time I spend on my study. I normally started learning unit on weekend then try to complete the uh, assignments on Monday or Tuesday the week after. I don't have any problem with this timeline but sometimes I do feel stressful a little bit you know to balance all of these things but anyway being busy is better than doing nothing right all right so that's pretty much my review about your people if you want to know more about my experience with your people or the reason why i decided to study computer science degree at 30 whether it's too late or if you're interested in my life as a computer science studying online just check out the link up here or down here hope you enjoyed the video if you still have any questions just let me know in the comment down below i will try to answer all of them okay have a good day bye bye and see ya